Welcome aboard. I'm David Rakovich, president of the Stockton Maritime Museum. This is the first installment of many updates, video tour updates we're gonna make and post online while you're sitting at home quarantining. We want you to see the hard work and accomplishments that have been made here with our uh, wonderful volunteers, made possible by, by your generous donations. We're standing on the 04 level of the Lucid here in Stockton. Behind me is the building Futures Academy. This is the vocational high school, which is closed right now due to the coronavirus, but this is where our student volunteers uh, are attending school and come out and volunteer uh, part of their day on the Lucid. We're up here on the 04 level, on the highest platform of the Lucid. Uh, we're gonna go down a couple levels and show you the progress that have made that has been made recently. And uh, appropriately, we're standing next to a searchlight here. Um, for those of you that don't follow us regularly online, um, you may not know, but we lost our number one volunteer, our electrician, Charlie Pyle, this last September after a brief illness. And he was our master electrician and fabricator. And if you haven't seen it yet, the reason I'm standing next to the searchlight is, look for the searchlight on our video page, or the Facebook page or on YouTube, and watch the wonderful memorial video that our videographer and photographer, Mark Tovar made, uh, describing a lot of the work that Charlie accomplished here on the ship over the last number of years. He was here six days a week uh, for the last three years. Uh, a lot of this progress we see today was the efforts were actually led by Charlie. We're gonna go down one level and uh, show you the work that has been done on the bridge. Here we are on the bridge level, the 03 level. We came down one level. Um, these are new handrails that were all fabricated uh, recently and this is the first section that's been painted. Um, all the upper levels had rigid handrails unlike the main deck or I'm sorry, the 01 level, which had the cables, the lifeline cables. Uh, this, this deck here has all been replaced and resealed. Um, we have here the stack that has been, we have two volunteers who have been sanding and needle gunning on the stack for the last month. It's just about ready for paint. And walking around this way a little bit, we have the original flag bag, the fiberglass flag bag that's being restored right now as well. There's some fiberglass repairs and paint and filling, and that gets installed right here. Next to the mast, obviously. Let's walk around to the front to the flybridge. Here you could see the original style awning not the enclosed that a lot of these ships had after the Fram. This was pre-Fram style awning. The frame has just gone up and we have a couple volunteers now that are building the canvas cover for this. So this will be somewhat uh, protected from the weather. After that goes up, we obviously have a lot of sanding and painting to do in here and a number of instruments, voice tubes and other things that'll be installed in here shortly. But it's starting to look again like she did when she was in service instead of like a floating barge. We're gonna go down one more level. Okay, here we are on the starboard bridge ladder going down to the O2 level. This is all new. All the new handrails have been installed on both levels here on the ladders. And the life raft canisters have been restored and installed. And it's starting to look, like I say, it's starting to look like it did again when she was in service. Entering the bridge here from the starboard side. I know that we covered this in our last video, but for those of you that haven't seen it, we'll take a quick look in here. This compartment is almost completely restored. All the instrumentation has been installed. The last thing we have to do is fabricate and install our vo numerous voice tubes that go up to the bridge, back to CIC, and down to the captain's cabin. We're quite proud of this compartment. It came out very, very well.
immediately after the bridge is CIC, which is also substantially completed with the DRT, Dead Reckoning Tracer. Newly fabricated navigator's table. And of course, radar and sonar here on the starboard side. And immediately after that, we have what we call our museum section. This was a compartment that was added in the Fram when this ship underwent a fleet rehabilitation and modernization program in 1969. And this compartment was added on. Originally, the mast was exposed to the weather here. This was obviously enclosed when this compartment was added uh, for additional radio, sonar gear, and that sort of thing, which we don't have. So we're gonna make this our museum space. We have a number of artifacts that will go in cases and pictures and photographs that will go on these panels in here. Here's an example of some of the information we're gonna be posting up here. A volunteer, uh, Gary Howells made this for us. Um, the ships that were named after Stockton or San Joaquin County. We're in this compartment, we're gonna note uh, several substantial um, local industries, such as the shipbuilding industry, the Rough and Ready Island Navy Base, and uh, specifics about mine sweeping and MSOs. Okay, we're on the stack deck now. You can see some of the work that's being accomplished here on the, on the stack. We had uh, 60 years of paint, probably a dozen coats here that has been needle gunned and sanded off. This is getting ready for primer right now. And the deck is being replaced here on the stack deck. A lot of damage here, so this is gonna be covered with uh, waterproof covering and then handrails installed all the way around. This is, uh, this is where the mag one of the magtail reels was installed. We recently picked one up and after this deck is restored, we will be installing a large magtail reel right in this area. Okay, we proceeded down to the O2 level, and obviously we're in the captain's cabin. This cabin is also substantially completed. It's kind of our uh, pride and joy. We've had some volunteers come out and actually uh, spend the night here from out of state coming to uh, work on the ship. So we've let them uh, stay in here. It's uh, decorated with the recreation of the captain's uh, uniform as uh, Captain Wilgen Bush skipper uh, would have wore uh, the day of the ship's decommissioning in 19, 1970. One year after the Fram, the ship was decommissioned. And so we're putting it back to its condition that it looked on that day. We're gonna proceed now aft a little bit into the radio room, which is under construction right now. Here we are in the radio room. We have a lot of the original gear we've been able to find and purchase. Um, these racks have been recreated that held this original radio equipment. We have another volunteer making us two of the radio tables that actually install right in here. This compartment gets a new floor and then uh, it will basically be complete. This side here, this is the port side of the radio room. This is a lot of the gear that was originally installed on the ship when it was built in the 1950s. On the starboard side of the radio room, since we don't have any uh, additional gear of that era, we're gonna put radio gear that would have been on these types of ships as they served in the 80s and the 90s. Immediately after the radio room, we walk into another compartment that was added during the Fram. This is for additional radio gear, which we don't have. And this we've turned into our ship store. This will be the permanent ship store when we're open to the public. This is the only compartment on the 01 level that has access from either the port or starboard side. So therefore we made this the ship store. This is where the guests will enter, purchase a ticket and begin their self-guided tour. This is also the compartment where we're noting our 
major donors and supporters on, on this aft wall here. Um, we're going to talk a little bit later about how you can get your name included on this. So uh, this is obviously none of this could be done without your generous support. So we'd like to keep that, keep those checks and cards coming. This will be the cashier station. We built it out of wood. Since we're on a wooden ship, we went with that theme throughout. Okay, just leaving the ship's store on the starboard passageway in the 01 level. We're going forward. We're gonna take a peek into the magazine. Substantially completed here with replica arms and ammunition. And the fireproof ammo locker, which has reproduction 40 millimeter shells. Approaching the forecastle or the bow. This deck has been completed. We were fortunate to be able to buy an original Hauser reel and windlass, which will be brought on board in the next couple weeks and installed right here over this temporary cover. Um, this is the access for the bosun locker which has been substantially completed. We're gonna take a look in there in our next segment of the video. Well, what I wanted to talk to you about today was, obviously this is where the 40 millimeter Borfus cannon was installed when these ships were originally put into service. Very hard to find such a rare weapon nowadays, but we recently were able to locate one that is for sale. And one of our supporters, uh, the former skipper, the adroit Jay Deloach, started a drive and has successfully raised close to ten thousand dollars now to put towards this gun we uh, would like to purchase it here this year and i wanted to mention this because we have a plan to put the names of the donors uh, any five hundred dollar or above donor that would like to contribute to this project to the gun project we would uh, encourage you to make a check out for us and on the check right for the 40 millimeter so we could include it into this targeted fund. We are ready to install this gun once it is uh, restored and painted. And then again, the ship will look like the little warship that it was. This will conclude our first segment of this updated tour. Uh, watch this space for more installments. It will be installed, installed once a week over the next several weeks. And uh, thanks again for your support. We couldn't do this without you. Keep in mind the gun project if you'd like to help us acquire that 40 millimeter, please think about joining us. And like I said, all donations of $500 or more will be noted on the gun tub that we are gonna re recreate here. Thanks again, and watch for us, like I say, in the next couple weeks, several, several new segments. Thank you.